Hey everyone, this is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo, and I wanted to show you a little trick that I use all the time to get my shapes and to get images cropped in a specific way. And really, this is the easiest way that I've found. I use Sketch. I love Sketch. It is a Mac application, so keep that in mind. But it makes masking so much easier. I basically want to go in and have this person right here just be cropped, and so it's just a circle there. Let's go ahead and delete that person for now, is I'm going to create the circle first of all. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Insert, and then I'm going to click on Shape, and click on Oval here. Draw out an oval, and let's just make that as big as you need to. Now I'm gonna pick a color, and let's just do kind of a, a bright, let's do a blue color, and I'm gonna do a nice blue color right there. Now I want to have a white border, so let's go ahead and just make sure that that's a white border here. And I want the width of the border to be, you know, pretty substantial there. And I'm going to add a drop shadow just so we can see the border as well. And let's just make sure that that drop shadow is set to zero. And let's up the blur to, let's say, about 10 or something like that, just so it stands out. I may not want to use the drop shadow in the future, but that's just basically what I want to do to begin with. I want to crop this person into that circle. So get a nice circle of that person right here. But I also want to have that person kind of overlap a little bit. There's a couple ways that I can do this. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just drop that person in. And I'm going to duplicate this circle right here and just have another circle. And I'm going to use this circle as my mask right here because I want to use this one as my my color and my style and everything like that. Let's go ahead and let's just place this person. I'm gonna resize them a little bit here. And I'm gonna just, I want them to be right about there. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go ahead and select that object in the background here. I may need to move them off to the side here. By holding the shift button down, I'm gonna go ahead and select this other guy as well. And then I'm going to select mask right here. So it's going to mask that person and it's going to mask it in the shape of that circle. Now remember that I want to have this person kind of overlapping here, so I'm gonna to need to do a couple of things before we get this full and ready. But I wanna get rid of the drop shadow and I also wanna get rid of that background color. So now that that is in place, I can now come over here and then click on the image there and I can move that image in whatever way that I want. I don't want to go too far above so he gets cut off there. I just want to move him down a little bit more there. So now that I've done that, I get this nice crop and it is even to that circle. I can go ahead and take this person and move him right over to that circle right here and just place him in a spot that will just be nice and even there. Holding down the shift button, I'm going to resize him a little bit more just so he kind of takes over there. Okay, so you can see here, it doesn't quite fit. If I get the edges here, you can see that I still need to do some manipulation because I wanna get him overlapping on the top, but I don't want him to get overlapping on the bottom here. What I need to do is basically place this bottom right here to the very bottom of that white edge. I don't want it to go beyond, I want it to stay within the stroke there. To start editing a shape, and we need to do this when we're working with a mask, we need to come into that shape. And because the mask is a shape, essentially, we can still adjust that and we can manipulate that shape in any way that we want. I expanded out the mask right here. I went ahead and selected the shape. In order to manipulate the shape, all you have to do is hit the return button. Now I can start to move these different sides to the edges that I want. So you can see I moved one side over on the right-hand side and I'm gonna move the left-hand side over and it's just making changes to the mask. It's not actually making changes to the shape behind it, it's just making changes to the mask itself. So you can see that looks a lot better, and I can see that I have my image here, I see that I have my shape, I may wanna make you know a little bit more changes here to get this exactly right. I can zoom in, and now let's go ahead and select that, hit enter, and then just move this a little bit further in. And there we go, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna zoom back out, and there we go. Now what I wanna do is I wanna export this as a PNG. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Insert and then go down to Slice here. Then I'm just gonna hover over the area that I want to export out. You can see it doesn't actually get everything, so I wanna adjust the slice to make sure that I get everything here. Adjust it on the right-hand side. And now, over on the right-hand side, I can click on Export. If I click on export there, let's go ahead and just change this to head. 
And now if I double click on that, you can see that I get this nice, well I may want to adjust the crop at the end there. Looks like we're getting some, not quite everything there. Let me expand that out to come down so I can get the drop shadow as well. I have one more thing I need to actually give enough room on the top here for his head. There we go, that should be enough. Now let's click on export. Replace, and let's preview this, and there we go. That's how I get that nice crop. I can take this people person and I can crop it into a circle with a nice color background, add a drop shadow if I want to, or not a drop shadow, but really adding a mask inside of Sketch is really powerful. You can do a lot with it and get these different types of effects pretty easily and pretty quickly.